Hello, my name is Dr. George Machaki, and welcome to Introduction to Business Online in an eight-week uh, uh, format. Uh, I will be your uh, instructor, facilitator, or your virtual instructor uh, for this uh, course. Uh, remember, this is an eight-week course, so when you see that we'll be most likely be covering four chapters a week, uh, which is manageable, we'll be utilizing uh, Learn Smart Connect, this inter uh, interactive software that comes with the publisher, uh, the, the book. You should buy the book at the College of Lake County. I think it's like uh, uh, $90 for uh, a loose leaf book and uh, full access to the uh, ebook and uh, internet software that you, uh, that you uh, will need. I want you right off the bat, purchase the book. You, you'll uh, look in the syllabus or go to the College of Lake County bookstore or I have their site uh, listed uh, in my syllabus and you could go in there, order the book. You're not going to get a better price than what you, uh, that the College of Lake County has uh, uh, set up for this uh, course. They've done some hard negotiations, so you have a best price. I know some of you may look at online and purchase a book from Amazon or some other stuff. If it does not have a passcode, you won't be able to complete this course. The interactive software uh, kind of helps the lecture, plus I have uh, I've embedded the, uh, my uh, own lectures in here to help you learn. You'll have a discussion board. You'll do uh, homework assignments uh, to the, the software. So there's no way you could pass or take this class without the, uh, without uh, purchasing the software. Some students says, "Well, I have the book. Should I just purchase um, the software?" Separately, if you purchase the software separately, I think it's like $150. For $99, you get the loose leaf book and you get the whole uh, ebook all included uh, uh, with that a bundle package that College of Lake County has. So look at the ISBN number, and the only place you could purchase that book is at the College of Lake County with the uh, passcode. Okay, uh, I know for some of you, uh, maybe some fi uh, because of financial aid, uh, the way we have it set up with McGraw Hill is that you'll have a two week. Uh, uh, trial period. That means you could log in so you don't fall behind on your homework and uh, be able to do the homework till you have your finances to purchase it. So after two weeks, they'll say, uh, your trial period is over with. Please submit um, uh, a payment or a passcode. Okay, so those of you who are familiar with Blackboard, and some of you may be, uh, you know, I have, sometimes I get a, a few students who are never t uh, taking an online class but are familiar with Blackboard. Similar to like in the face-to-face, -face, you have all your information here. A little bit about me as an instructor. You can look at it. I'm not going to spend that now. This orientation, there's uh, this short YouTube, and I have a longer version for what I, uh, like an hour, that I go into more detail what's required. Uh, some of the homework assignments may be just a little bit adjusted, but you'll get a gist of what's required in an online class uh, that you've taken with me. Okay? A uh, discussion board or forum. Remember, discussion board or forum, this is how I know that you are attending class. And the uh, discussion board basically replaces the lecture within the classroom. So you will have the same amount of uh, uh, communications or interactions uh, that's required for this course with other students and the instructor. You always make sure you have your uh, grades. Uh, here's uh, some, uh, you know, Let's say student blackboard help they have short videos for those of you who aren't familiar with blackboard some of you have already are familiar with blackboard taking other online classes just like a face-to-face -face class uh, majority of the basics is are the same the forum discussion boards how to turn your papers and everything else but the instructor he or she puts a little twist to it or uh, has additional requirements or less requirements okay uh, the, this one here is late exams when I'm looking at it, your, uh, your homework, uh, uh, business is driven by uh, service dates. This is a business class. So your homework has to be on the date that's required. Your Learn Smart Connect homework has to be uh, completed by Friday midnight, even though I'll show you, I uh, have them open for the, uh, for the whole semester. For those of you who, who want to read ahead or have a little additional time, I know you're going on vacation next week, so you want to catch up or get a jump on some of the, your homework ahead of time, you'll be able to do that. Some students uh, uh, like that, so I, I make it available for you. Uh, syllabus for the section. Uh, one thing that's required in this online class, other than the uh, uh, 
McGraw Hills uh, con uh, Learn Smart uh, software interaction is uh, all my lectures are basically online. So you can click on here and you'll have from chapter one uh, all the way to chapter twenty all videos YouTube. So you could click on it, you could uh, uh, listen to it, you could download it. Some students listen to it in their car as an MP3 uh, uh, file, but you'll always have my. Uh, my lectures. The other thing is I create the concept maps. You'll see what a concept map is, is a visual representation other than just written in a logical way. I saw logical. It's, uh, uh, it gives you the second tier of the, you know, let's say my uh, longer YouTube uh, uh, orientation will show you uh, copies of concept maps and go into more detail on that. So you'll have that available. See, you, you, let me just say, and I have them all set up as a PDF file. You go in here, you click on it. I just might as well show it to you while I got you on your orientation. Some people may only look at this orientation, not look at my longer one. So when you click on it, and the concept maps are good, remember there's only the second tier. When you do my full lectures, I use uh, open up everything else. So at this time, you read the book, you do the, uh, uh, listen to my lecture, and then take the notes from my concept maps that are full lectures that I do in the uh, in a face to face class. You, uh, I have them available for you, and then you add in, you write in here the additional stuff so you're more interactive with this. So it helps you in your learning, and then print it out, and then do the McGraw Hill Learn uh, Connect uh, Learn Smart, and you should do well. Okay, so we'll go back in there. Now, uh, and again, my lectures are all full lectures. Uh, uh, if I look at on here, you click it on here, I have from chapter one all the way through. So you could have this about like half an hour to an hour, depending on the complexity uh, of the subject matter we're talking about. With the book, my lectures, and uh, uh, Learn Smart software, you will be exposed and have a good, solid foundation of what it takes to run a business, small, large, medium, okay? And I also have available for you the student PowerPoints. And there is a major paper required. And later on, we'll go into, I think, like in the second week. Because remember, the second week is really the fourth week in an eight-week course. And it will talk about the major paper requirement. And I have a YouTube again and um, uh, concept maps on here. Okay? So let's go into, so where you'd have to start off with, and so we'll do this a lot. What we'll start off with is I'll go with the syllabus, but I, what I want you to do, uh, understand is your weekly homework assignment. Everything you're going to find is right in here, week one. And week one is going to be open. I uh, leave it open to about like Sunday, and I turn it off, and then week two will open it up. You don't see it now is because I have because uh, it's not available to you. So I'm in instructor's mode here. So when week two, or week one finishes, all your homework is at work. Week one finishes, here's your new assignment uh, going forward for week two. And then that opens up and you'll have the full week to do it. I think I close them off by Sunday. Any kind of exams, and there's four exams and a final exam that's required by the department that all either online or face-to-face -face, uh, students will take. Uh, and all my exams are strictly online, so you'll... Uh, 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 give you like a practice exam for those of you who have never taken an exam in Blackboard online uh, so you do well on that okay so and uh, the exams I always leave them open uh, for you for an online class till Sunday now the connect learn smart homework the integrative learn smart homework from the publishers those are usually turned off by Saturday so you can start working on your work to, uh, for um, what do you call it for next week now one thing about an online class and I have to stress this try not to do everything at the, the at the last day you know, you know uh, at the weekend do a little bit that's the, that's the beauty of an online class you do a little bit now a little bit tomorrow a little bit here and look at the lectures the discussion boards the reading the interactive uh, 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 homework and everything else and then by the time Friday and Saturday comes you'll start next week so you basically your classroom is spread out for the whole week not all in one day that's the only, uh, same thing at work I have a lot of different projects I can't do them all at the one uh, at the same day it'll be, it'll be stressful so I do a little bit every day as much as I can do and I build on that remember we'll be covering if you look at here we're covering three chapters and then next week uh, we'll be covering four chapters 
it's uh, I think there's uh, 18 chapters. Uh, we're not covering chapter 11, which is HR, and we're not covering chapter 12, which is labor relations. And that uh, basically is just so we could uh, make this manageable for this uh, eight-week section. Okay, so you won't be testing on that. All right. And then, like I said, when you click on here, what I want you to do when I go into syllabus, here's my overview that I'm going to talk about. Uh, your first discussion uh, here, when you look at these things here, for those of you who aren't familiar in Blackboard, these here are files. So whenever you have a file, click on the file, and what happens in the file, oops, or not the file, uh, the file shows you. Here are your forms. This week or a uh, discussion. You'll have two discussion board posting. The first one is real quick, five easy points. Hi, my name is George. I grew up in Chicago. I was born in Germany. I speak Polish. Uh, I'm not a German citizen. I'm not a Polish citizen. I'm a naturalized U.S. citizen. Anything you want to uh, say uh, just to make that connection, just like you would do uh, introducing yourself at work or to a new client or to uh, your peers. A little bit of something. Try to find something positive something that people will remember uh, you by. I'm dyslexic, but I'm a good process uh, uh, because I'm dyslexic. You know, uh, I have to make sure all of, everything connects. So um, uh, uh, in the corporate world, I did a lot in process improvement because it just was very easy for me to say, hey, where's the disconnect? So something that you want to say about yourself or, uh, you know, so you post that and then to build a relationship or network within this course, this uh, uh, virtual classroom, uh, uh, connect to other individuals. Talk to them. Say, hey, even if they don't talk back to you. Remember, you may say, well, she never responded. That's not how business is. You're always out there trying to bring in new people. So if they're not responding to you, maybe there wasn't anything they had to say. Maybe they couldn't connect with you. So try again. Or try other students. I think there's like 15 students or 16 students in the class. So you'll be able to build a small network like you would be building at, at work. Remember, networking is very important in business, not only for career movement, but also for finding new clientele or uh, uh, products, okay? And then this is the next one, is the, uh, the other uh, forum is Understanding Global. You will basically, and, and uh, you read it, you'll do fine on that. And here's the, the links, when you see it, this, here's the links. And I have one, something about on the link was, uh, for the first homework assignment, uh, was to find um, uh, another country. Find something that you didn't know. You want something about the Middle East. What about the Middle East terms that I don't know? What upsets them, what doesn't upset them? What are some of the manners, what are some of the business, uh, 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 what do you call it, the etiquette that I have to be aware of not to upset somebody in a different country? Or it could be Poland, it could be Russia, it could be uh, uh, Venezuela. Would you want to do business in Venezuela now? There's a little bit of... Uh, 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 what do you call it, unrest within the country. So, you know, maybe as a business person, you want to say, hey, I'm going to hold off a little bit to see until uh, it stabilizes. And that's what you've learned from Chapter 2 in the economics. And then try to tie this in and then open up the discussion on that, okay? And then the forms are worth 15 points. You're required to, you know, the, don't download all at the one day. Uh, basically coming in there and saying, here's all my home, uh, you know, uh, on Friday, do you respond to anybody? That's not, uh, that's downloading, that's not uh, communication. To build a network, you have to talk to people and give them some information and talk back. And that's how you build a rapport and you build a relationship, okay? And only you're building your relationship like you're in a face-to-face. -face. Well, most of you are utilizing social media, or you, in this case, you're, you're doing it all online or virtual uh, uh, customers or students, okay? And then so you have everything else. We do four, well, okay, all right? All right, so we have that. So now, remember, you can always go back to week one. So that took care of my assignment. So here I have 20 points. And now you learn smart assignments. If I'm looking at your learn smart assignment, you click on here and I've created the links. And the links are basically all your learn smarts are here. These are required. You'll have till Saturday to complete them. If you don't complete them, you lose the point. These are, uh, uh, when we go on a syllabus, these are easy 10 uh, points. They're, I set them up, they're usually in a face to face class for 16 week. They're for an hour and a half to do the, uh, the, the interactive uh, homework assignment. Here I've, uh, I've uh, condensed them to 30 to 40 minutes. If you already read the chapter, you looked at my YouTube, and you be, uh, know, the, uh, know the material, you'll go through it within 20 minutes. Complete it. The way the uh, uh, LearnSmart is set up, 
you go in there and if you don't understand it, they'll ask you the question a couple of times and then they'll basically say, here's the answer. It'll take you right to the ebook and show you uh, uh, to, for you to read it so you understand it. And then you go on with the Learn Smart, keep on going. And then all of a sudden, they'll bring that question that you have problems with and they'll throw it back at you to so make sure that you remember. So it's an inter, uh, interactive software that you know you just keep on doing until it, so it says okay you've completed it and you'll and then when you finish it either before or uh, after the due date your grade will transfer automatically into blackboard if for some reason something happens your computer's down and you know the first week or anything else you still didn't understand how, how to do it uh or, you know it's not working right you, you're trying to get used to um uh, uh how to prioritize which homework and how to do four chapters within a week, which is very manageable. Students do it all the time. Uh, what you'll basically uh, have to do is uh, send me an e uh, email and say, Dr. George, remember when you send me an email, I only accept the email when you read uh, my uh, syllabus, it is through the College of Lake County. If you send it through anything else, I won't open up and go to quarantine. So it has to uh, say George Machaki, student, uh, 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 CLC Illinois, you know, it's a Gmail, but it got the CLC Illinois. And then you say, uh, could you give me an extension? When I give you an extension, even though the due date will show is due, you will be able to have another week to complete it, but it'll be reduced by 10 to 20 percent. Or 10 to, uh, uh, the first week, I'm, uh, I'll let you pass, but the second week, I reduce it by uh, the, the, you know, 10 to 20 percent. And the rationale for that is you missed a due date, you have to pay the penalty. I have to do additional work to put you back in and do, uh, you know, to come back in and open up and uh, give you an extension on that. But there's still an extension. So let me just go real quickly on the learn smart. These, when you see these marks here, these are links here. What I created is you have all your learn smart assignments for the whole eight weeks. You could do them ahead. They won't post into Blackboard till the due date. I'm talking about your grade. You could do them in McGraw Hill. You could go in there because McGraw Hill has an app. You could do it on your smartphone or your i tablet or uh, your, your home computer, and you know, uh, and you could basically do the uh, homework assignment. Once the due date is passed, that's that you lost the points unless you request and give me an excuse uh, for me for an extension. But you will be uh, your uh, grade will be uh, uh, reduced by ten to twenty percent. Okay. Now, for the first time, some students are going, how do I get into McGraw-Hill? The first time you click on your first homework assignment, that's when it's going to ask you for the passcode, or you could purchase it online. I want to purchase it online. I think it, uh, you could put the CLC, but I don't think you'll be able to get uh, the, uh, the $90 price that, uh, that the main campus has it for. I mean, it might have went up a little, but uh, if I mistake, it's like $90, give or take, at the main campus. So you'll be paying more online, but that's up to you, all right? Or you could buy it, uh, the book and everything else to the uh, College of Lake County uh, bookstore uh, link, okay? All right, so you have all this, no problems. Okay, so let's go into the syllabus. What's required in my syllabus? Now, the syllabus for this section, okay, here's the fall, and I updated the syllabus. Now, this syllabus is, if you're taking this in a face-to-face -face with another instructor, another online, we all have the same criteria. This is a fundamental class, so this class is like a basic mat. You're learning a new language, business language. You may already know a little bit about business. You're learning about business concepts for all businesses. So this basically is more of a vocabulary, more of a, um, uh, for lack of better words, uh, memorization, relearning. But I try to make it so it's not just all terms and memorization through the form and through the paper that you'll be doing. You'll uh, uh, find it interesting and you'll say, oh, that's why, uh, this is what it means when my boss says this or this is why he or she's doing something like this. So you've got my information. Here's my email. Here's the divisions. It's an online class. You have to contact me and uh, we could do, uh, we could, I could make a meeting when I'm on campus at the, uh, at the college, I think, uh, all right, we could set that up. This is just the outcomes. You do your reading. Here's the book. Here's the book. Here's the ISBN number that you're looking for. Remember, loose leaf book with Connect must have ASCA's code. There's no way you could pass this class without this. 
just required, okay? Uh, and whether you're taking my class, another class, face-to-face -face class, they're all the same. If you've taken this class before and dropped out for some other reason, now you're taking it online, and you purchased a book and the ask, uh, uh, access code, and it's passed, contact your publisher and say, hey, I didn't finish it because I think the ask Access code is worked for uh, uh, last for a year. It's just that I didn't finish the class for whatever personal reason. You have to explain it to them, and they'll transfer you into this class. Okay? Here's your grades. You have four exams, and they'll be given strictly all on Blackboard. Same with the final exam, how to study. Here's the uh, uh, you know 19 chapters. Here's Blackboard help. Uh, entrepreneur, you'll be doing a, uh, a paper. Uh, usually, I do this uh, team paper. And what I do is take the chapters and you'll be developing. So when you're doing the discussion board and I'll be asking you a question, what, uh, first of all, by next week, think of a product or a business that you may want to open. Look, or you're going to be a manager and you have another uh, market your boss tells you you have to open up. So that's an entrepreneur uh, uh, activity, right? I'm already a hot dog stand, but now I want to sell gyro. Who I'm going to market that? I'm going to buy it. So now I become an entrepreneur. So this is an entrepreneur feasibility. It just uh, before you uh, businesses run uh, run out and start a new venture or even new or uh, uh, enter a new market, they kind of. Uh, do some research to try to find out something about the business uh, you know about the customers or base who the competitors are could I make a profit what should I be pricing and all this is what this whole uh, book is talking about business so it takes everything that you're learning all 20 chapters or 18 chapters and it puts it into a paper that you'll say hey not only do I know the definitions I know the concepts but now I'm able to apply it into a uh, uh, paper and the paper here, since you're an uh, uh, individual, is like 24, uh, you know, 2,500 words. Uh, uh, and it's basically like uh, eight pages, no more than the final paper that you'll be doing in a, a high school or someplace else. Very manageable. And we'll be building this over the eight weeks. You have to utilize 35 business terms and concepts. I'm just letting you know uh, in there. And there'll be more information on that. Okay, student email uh, notification. I notify you through announcements and announcements. I'll send, uh, what do you call it, a message out and I'll say uh, homework is due or not. Blackboard also, when you're into Blackboard, I, I'm here in my syllabus in Blackboard and I'll show you later on um, uh, in Blackboard. You could go in there and they'll have uh, your activities. Blackboard has a calendar. I put all the homework and everything else in, in Blackboard so you'll do well on it. And one other thing, when you're doing the discussion board, I have a thing how to upload your profile so you can see your, your, your picture. An online class, that kind of required that you have your profile uh, uh, uploaded. You can always just make it just for this class and turn it off later on. Many of you already have your profile out. It's almost like LinkedIn where uh, when I'm talking, doing the thread, it's easy to see who I'm talking to instead of all this verbiage. I can see different pictures, faces of the individual that I'm communicating. Look. We're in the 21st century. We're already in a virtual environment. Your customers, when I'm talking to customers, I'm either using face, uh, FaceTime or Skype. Uh, when you're uh, dealing with customers and Outlook, my picture is in there. Uh, your interaction on there. This is a new way of exposing yourself in the business. I want you to be able to in, in, immerse yourself in technology that you're doing now and able to look at this classroom as talking to your virtual customers or your clients or taking a training session, which a lot of businesses do uh, strictly online. Okay, so here's how this is going to be broken down. You're going to have four exams. And remember, whether you're face-to-face, -face, online, all uh, sections of introduction of business will have the four exam with 14 points. It's heavy into testing because this is a foundation. It's like learning a new language. It's worth 35% of your grade. You're going to have learn smart uh, activity, uh, uh, 10 points each, and that's 17%, uh, close to 20% of your grade. Professional discussion board, and that's your uh, talking on your discussion board it's usually worth 18 points. So it's uh, the discussion. I, I post the first question in the discussion board, and then you'll have to respond to my question. You will not see other students respond if no one else responded. You, the way it's set up, you won't see the res except for the first uh, introduction one. But afterwards, when the homework's going out, you will not see the other uh, uh, students until you make your first posting. So this way, I ask you a specific question, what are the four Ps, what this, you'll post it. As you post it, 
then uh, you'll see other students uh, uh, respond. The first post should be, uh, hopefully try to do it by Monday. Tuesday is the la uh, latest. You should have your first post, otherwise that takes some uh, points off just to, to get the discussion uh, going. And then Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, try not to do it all day. You know, stagger it a little. That's how I do it when I read your posting. I will be interactive for the first couple of weeks within the uh, discussion board. And then I leave it more and more that you are more of a self-managed team helping each other out. I read all the postings, I, uh, uh, but I may not respond to every individual every week, but I'll respond to majority individuals every, uh, but trust me, you'll know where, how you're doing because I, uh, I will be very, uh, very interactive in the discussion board. Okay, here's my policy. Okay, so you have that. You have your entrepreneur uh, sort of papers worth 13%. You know, that helps for those of you who don't do well on the exam. This is another, uh, uh, you, you could bring your grade up and then have uh, a PowerPoint. The PowerPoint's real easy. I make them do it in a face-to-face -face class, um, uh, but they do a live presentation. Here you'll give me four or five slides, like if you'd be presenting your, uh, your uh, feasibility or your research to a business person or to somebody else, maybe to an investor or to your employees or to your clients. Uh, for additional uh, points, if you want to uh, do a narrative uh, PowerPoint, that means you put your words in, and you know, PowerPoint allows you to do that. You have a microphone, or if you want to do a YouTube and you do it private just so I could see it, or maybe the students could see it, I may give you additional, uh, some extra uh, uh, points for that. It'll be extra credit points, okay? Online ac activity and assessment. I'm going to do some assessment uh, just to help the discussion board since it's not all lecture and tie in what's going on currently in the marketplace and bring it into um, uh, uh, into our subject matter that we're that we'll be talking about. Okay, so you have that. You know, professional points gives you uh, some. You know, read this. It uh, gives you some guidelines if you have any kind of accommodations. Uh, you know, of a student uh, with disabilities, it means you need extended time on your online classes. You have to send me an email from that department and, and give me your accommodation. So when you're taking your exams, uh, if you have some kind of accommodations, I can make those accommodations for you or uh, work with uh, uh, office uh, o, uh, OSD uh, 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 counselors. Okay? You got your counseling, you know, plagiarizing or cheating students rights withdrawing from class uh, okay and here's the dates that you have to remember okay and check on the dates because sometimes uh, you know uh, I think I got the right dates but you know it's still your responsibility just my disclaimer here okay and here's what happened first week you know you learn smart to uh, do by Friday and discussion boards and then after a while uh, you learn smart. Remember, you could do learn smarts ahead of time. The discussion board, you can't until I post them. Some of the homework, you can't. But start working and start thinking about a paper that you want to do. So that's the whole thing. And here's some information. You know, free the writing center you have. Uh, read the chapters as we go on. Study important location, division, academic counseling, business, social science. So I think we have everything that you have. Okay. And the other thing I remember, you see, I have my picture up in here, and I have. Uh, uh, a link, a short YouTube, also showing you how to uh, upload your profile. So this way, you're in the discussion board, you, it, it brings it more interactive. So it's that's not this, you know. I mean, it builds up a relationship, just like I'm doing now, instead of just writing and doing everything else. And you know, every week I'll, I have a real short, uh, a twenty minute uh, uh, overview, saying here, this is in addition to my chapters that are already pre-recorded. Uh, uh, lectures and say hey you did well on this look out on this or here's what we're going to do next week and you know uh, just give you some encouragement okay so that's about it so remember for those of you who are not familiar with blackboard everything's in here when you click on your weekly homework assignment remember these are uh click on the week that's open the other week's turned off these are all folders you click on here you have uh, everything you need on here and then you should be okay now all right now this one here is old it should have been in here i just had it different uh, seven minute video how to update uh, your profile oh here's where I go let me go put this up in here I'll put this up on top we're live and if you notice most of my recordings I don't do any editing I record it because it's real short clips I always try to be current you know once in a while I may have like last semester or some of my major my long-term uh, um, orientation for a 16 week course but you know it gives you a little more detail uh, and that's a couple of years old but it's still kind of current 
just look at what's required for this course here. It just gives you a general idea. Again, um, uh, you'll do well in this class. Uh, it's an eight-week class. Just keep on remember, uh, each week is like taking two. Uh, you know, so week one is basically week one and week two together. We cover four, three to four chapters a week. Very manageable. Just spread your time. Try not to do it all at one time. Make sure you're active in the discussion board. That's how I know you're in the classroom. That's like you come in into uh, the, the lecture. Um, you know, respond to us. Uh, I think three or four of the students. The class is like 15 students. Is how they keep the online classes a little smaller, so I as an instructor and you as a students could have more uh, interaction with other uh, uh, students in a virtual environment. Again, um, you'll do well. Just click on weekly homework assignment. Uh, remember, any kind of email has to come through the College of Lake County email. Any kind of information I send through Blackboard, everything else goes through the college, uh, 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 will go to your CLC email. That's what it's tied up to. So we should do well, uh, get your book right away, get the passcode, uh, and get start doing on your LearnSmart. I extended them to about like Sunday for the first week, but after that, uh, we just gotta keep on moving. There's no way, so don't fall behind, and you'll do very well in this class. Majority of my students will have uh, C's and B's. I have A's, and uh, I do give uh, uh, F's, because uh, you just don't do the work, but majority, you'll do very well. You'll enjoy this class. Look at this class as learning a new language, new concepts, new uh, vocabulary, and meeting new uh, friends. Remember business, I don't select my customers, they come to me, and how do I connect with them? And some businesses I connect them face to face, and a lot of businesses now try and look at Amazon and, and other uh, or Netflix. They're trying to connect with the customer strictly through a virtual environment. The most businesses have both face to face and virtual environment. Again, my name is Dr. George Machaki. Oh, one more thing: uh, all your paperwork and everything else be turned in as a Microsoft Word document. For those of you who don't have Microsoft Office in your student portal, you could download Microsoft Office through the cloud on your Mac or on your personal computer and you have the full version as long as you're a student here at College of Lake County. doesn't cost you anything. So you have Microsoft uh, uh, PowerPoint, you have uh, Excel, you have Microsoft Word, and I think you have Access. And remember, uh, Blackboard is uh, the platform it does when I do the grading of the paper is to Microsoft product. Like in the Mac, Microsoft uh, uh, Office uh, rules the business world, and so you're in a business class, and that's just... Uh, uh, I wouldn't hire an administrative secretary if they did not know how to do Word, PowerPoint, or uh, uh, Excel. Okay? So you do well in this class. Don't freak out. I, if we've been through this, we'll work with you, and you'll get the grade that you deserve by the effort that you put in. Again, my name is Dr. George Machaki, and welcome again to Introduction to Business Online in an eight-week section. Bye. Oh, good. I was at... Uh, uh, a half an hour, okay?